Are you guys trying to shoot a half court green with a 55 3? Hey, yo, you came to the right place, man. In today's video, I'm talking about the best shooting badges in NBA 2K20. All right, man. Welcome to the channel if you guys are new. Welcome back if you're an OG. You guys already know what we do around here. Shout out to the Nodi Gang member of yesterday's video. Shout out to my man Agonize for being the very first comment on yesterday's video. If you guys want to be featured in a future video, make sure you guys are one of the first comments on one of my next videos, and we will definitely feature you guys in another video. So as you guys know, I'm banned, man, and there's not many videos I can make while I'm banned. As you guys can tell, I'm posting the same as I clips on YouTube because I don't have any other way to get clips. And um, yeah, I thought, what a better day than today. Um, we're going to be talking about the top badges, the best badges to use in NBA 2K20, best shooting badges. And yeah, I asked you guys on Twitter, I asked you guys on YouTube, what do you guys think your top three badges are so I can get a little gist of what you guys think. And yeah, let's hop into it, man. Before we do, don't forget to drop a like. Let's try to get 100 likes in the first day. Comment Nodi Gang in the chat right now so I know who's watching right now, just so I can see where my Nodi Gang members are at. And um, yeah, if you guys are new, don't forget to sub up and let's get into it. All right, man, we are here. I thought what a better way to do a shooting badge video than to do a tier list. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know how tier lists work. Uh, at the very top, we have S tier, which is the absolute best. It's a super tier, man. Then we got A tier, a little bit worse, not the best, but it's still solid. B, C, uh, then we got D. F is the worst. Well, actually, Ronnie is the worst. That's the absolute worst tier you can possibly have. If you're a Ronnie tier, you're just a scum of the earth. Ain't no one want to be you. No one wants to even talk to you. No one wants to be affiliated with you. And um, yeah, so. I don't think we're going to have any badges in the Ronnie tier. We'll probably, we might have some in the F or D tier, but um, yeah, let's hop into it. All right, so we got all the badges down here, and I'm not going to lie to you. I have 2K open right now on my PS4 right next to me, because um, half these badges, I don't even know what they are. Like, what the hell is this? What badge is this? I have no idea. Um, I, I know some of these, uh, but a lot of them, I, I, I'll say a few of them I don't even know. So I have 2K up just in case I don't know a badge. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So um, yeah. If you guys don't know how tiers work, tier lists work, um, so we get a badge, let's say this badge uh, was this uh, clutch shooter, um, let's say, oh, I love this badge, I'll put it up here, S tier, so it's the best badge in the game, obviously it's not, but that's just how it works, so I put it whatever tier I think fits it, right, um, so yeah, obviously the lower we go down, the worse it is, like I said, I don't think we're going to have any Ronnie tiers, but um, yeah, uh, I guess we can start with clutch shooter, um, clutch shooter, I think this, it's a cool badge, I mean, if, if you're like a pure sharp, I, I would use it. Why not? I mean, you have like, what, 30 badges to use. Um, I don't know. If you're anything less than a pure shooter, like, I mean, if you have the extra badges to use it, I think it's a solid badge. But other than that, like, it's not like a badge you need or really want. There's so many other better badges out there that we'll talk about in the future. But, um, yeah, I mean, this badge is cool. I, I, I'd put it at like a C tier. I mean, it's not bad. It's not really good just because there's so many better badges out there. But, yeah, it, I mean, it's a solid badge. All right. Catch and shoot. Man, that doesn't even, how, how is this catch and shoot? That looks nothing like catch and shoot, but whatever. I had to, I had to look at like 20 different badges to figure out what badge this was. <laughs> um, catch and shoot. I think catch and shoot's a solid badge. I mean, if you're a pure sharp, you need it. Uh, good badge. There's really nothing to talk about, really. I mean, it's a solid badge. I'm sure every pure sharp uses it or any like spot up shooter uses it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'd give it, I, there's really not much to talk about. I think it's a solid badge. I'd give it an A, right? I mean, catch and shoot. I know a lot of people didn't mention it in um, the top three badge list that I asked you guys earlier in like Twitter and YouTube but I think I think catch and shoots a solid badge like catch and shoots always been like a, a, a crutch badge right like catch and shoots always been a badge that you put on if you're a shooter at least a spot up shooter all right corner specialist I, it, it's the same thing like it's something with catch and shoot it, it's a crutch badge if you're a spot up shooter you guys need this badge like it's it's just a crutch badge I feel like every spot up shooter not so much as sharp shooters because sharp shooters really spot up on like the wing but like if you're a stretch or like a glass cleaner, I feel like every stretch and every glass cleaner has this badge, Hall of Fame or Gold. So um, there's not, not much to talk about this badge. I think this is a solid A tier. By the way, I think any badge in like the S to B tier you want to put on for yourself. So if any of you guys are looking for badges for yourself, um, any, I think anything above B or, or B and above is something I would put on if I were you. Anything at C, I would think about. Like maybe try it out for yourself and say you like it. Anything below C, they're bad. Don't don't even try it. That's a dog titty badge all right so i'm guessing this is supposed to be deadeye because there's no other deadeye badge on here 
by the way i didn't make this tier list someone else made it i went to tiermaker.com and someone else made this so um yeah i didn't make this tier list shout out to whoever did <laughs> and it looks like he doesn't have unless i'm tripping i'm looking i don't see any dead eye badge right and this is what dead eye used to look like so i'm guessing it's a dead eye right um so dead eye um i think that is a solid badge i i don't think it's like a top tier badge i think it's a it's a good badge to have uh, I, I know a lot of people love this badge. A lot of people don't really care for it. I'm one of those people that don't really necessarily care for the badge. I mean, it's cool. It's not it's not a bad badge. It's not really a solid badge. Like, there's other badges out there that are way better. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think I'd give this a B tier, honestly. Like, this badge is nothing crazy. I think it's a solid badge, but it's nothing like Catch and Shoot or Corn Splashes or any other build, uh, badges that we're going to get into uh, here in a second. All right, Deep Fades. Um... Just because you're a post score, we're going to go ahead and put you down there. Just because only post scores use that. So you guys can go ahead and go down there in the F tier. If you guys use deep fades, you're a hoe. Difficult shots, same thing. If you use difficult shots, if you are if you use screens and fade, you're a hoe. Go ahead and have the F tier. Um, both those badges are solid, but if you use them, you're a hoe. All right, flexible release. Um, I think flexible release is a cool badge, bro. But, I mean, it's kind of a bailout badge. Let's, let's be honest. Like, If you're a solid player, you guys don't need it. Um, there's not much to say about it. I mean, it's a bailout badge just for the bums. I'd give it a C. Like, if you're if you're a bum, put it on. But if you're if you're a good shooter trying to find the best badges out there, flexible release is not it. This is just for the bailout ass dudes that just barely got the game. I don't really know how to shoot. So yeah, that, that's what flexible release is for. Um, green machine. Oh yeah, green. All right, I don't have to look. I already know this. That's my favorite badge in the game. I'm not gonna cap to you guys. That's going in the S tier. First badge in the S tier, baby. Oh yeah. Green Machine, bro. I can't talk enough about it. Green Machine is a the one of the best badges in the game. All right. If you guys use it, you guys know. If you guys get two greens in a row, it's like every shot you take is just an automatic green, bro. It's crazy. You guys see in my clips uh, on YouTube, right? If you guys see most most of my clips on YouTube are from me greening like two shots in a row, and then you guys can see I green everything, right? Like you guys see these clips on YouTube that I've been posting lately, where I just green everything. After two shots, you have green. I don't. Keep in mind, I only have Green Machine on Bronze, bro, on my build. So, uh, Green Machine higher than Bronze, it's it's just uh, it's an unreal badge. It's probably it's definitely one of my favorite badges in the game. Um, if you guys are looking for a solid badge as a shooter, Green Machine, that's it, bro. That's an S tier badge, 100%. All right, Hot Start. Um, Hot Start's a cool badge. I mean, it it, it works. It's it's cool. It it the only thing it sucks about it is if you mess up one play then you're screwed like hot start you have to uh you have to make your first shot you shoot and then you have to keep making them for it to work and if 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 you don't make your first shot or you miss a shot after your first shot it's it's a pointless badge you have a you have a whole badge that does nothing the entire game so for that reason i'm gonna give that a c like it's a cool bat like for example like i said earlier if you're like a pure sharp that has like 30 badges uh hot start's not a horrible badge to use but like it, it could help you you know what I mean? If you have, like, those extra badges that you need or could use. Uh, I think Hot Start's a solid badge. It's just the fact that it, it's the same thing with Clutch Shooter, bro. It's, like, it's a cool badge, but only it works for a little bit of the game. And I think, honestly, now I'm thinking about it, I think Clutch Shooter is better than Hot Start. Just because Clutch Shooter, you can miss 20 times, but it'll still be there. Hot Start, if you miss one time, you're, the badge is over, which I don't really like. But anyway, yeah. I, I think Clutch Shooter is better. All right, Hot Zone Hunter. We got Hot Zone Hunter. Um... A lot of people talk down on this badge lately. Uh, I, I see a lot of people saying that hot zones are patched. They're, they're, the, hot, the hot zone hunter is not as good as it used to be. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't a shooter before the patch. So I don't know. I was a glass cleaner before they patched hot zones. I just recently made a shooter. And I like hot zone hunter. Um, I don't see a problem with it. But then, like I said, I didn't have a shooter before. So I don't know how good it was before. Um, for me, Hot Zone Hunter is a solid badge. If you're a shooter, you got, in my opinion, you guys need this badge. Um, depending on how many badges you have, I would put this badge on. Uh, for example, on my on my slasher with six shooting badges, I don't put I don't put Hot Zone Hunter on. Um, I usually put Green Machine on. But um, yeah, if you had the badges, I would put it on. I, I don't know Hot Zone Hunter. I'd, I'd give it a B. I think it's like in the range of Dead Eye, right? Like. The only reason I put it low is because so many people talk smack about it. Like, so many people don't like the badge anymore. Um, but like I said, I, don't, I like the badge. If I have the badge points available to, to have another badge, I'll definitely put Hot Zone Hunter on. Like, for example, I'm on my boy's account right now since I'm banned, and I've been using Hot Zone Hunter, and I, I love the badge. Like, 
I don't see a problem with it. So yeah, I, I think it's a solid B badge. Like if you have the badges, I'd put it on. If not, then yeah, don't put it on, obviously. All right, Ice and Veins. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I mean, let me, I don't even know what this badge is. I'm about to look at it right now on PS4, hold up. Free throws taken in the second half of a close, of close games or overtime periods are given a boost. Also timing, also the, the timing window for free throws becomes larger. Ice and Veins, that's gonna be the most pointless badge I've ever seen. You can shoot free throws better. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you guys like free throws, shooting free, if you guys play Pro-Am, I mean, I'm sure it's a cool badge. <laughs> free throws, though? I mean, how many free throws do you shoot a game? Like, two? Two to four? Like, yeah, that, that, that's max. I I don't know. Ice and Veins, I, I mean, I, I've never used it. I'm sure all the Pro-Am heads use it, so. I'll give that, I'll give that a C badge. I'll give that a C tier. I mean, it's not a horrible badge, but, I mean... Like, who uses that? I mean, it's pro-on. Who uses pro-on badges, let's be honest. All right, pick and popper. Um, I don't know why this is a pick and popper badge. Like, it's a finger pointing at me. That makes no sense. They should put, like, a grasshopper or something. That, that's what I think. What the fuck? Why is there a finger pointing at me for pick and popper? That makes no sense. Anyway, um, pick and popper. I don't use the badge. I don't really see too many big men using the badge. I don't think it's a bad badge. Like, there's other badges that are pointless out there. I don't think it's a bad badge. I just don't really see the point of it. So, I mean, it, it, it's still... Like, if you're if you're a big man, you could use it, obviously, if you had the extra badge points. But on, I think it's, like, a C. Like, it's not a bad badge, but it's just, like, what's the point? Like, there's so many better badges out there. And, um, yeah, most big men don't even pick and pop. Most big men pick and roll. So, there's no point of that badge anyway, to be honest. Um, pump fake maestro. Uh, I don't got time on that. That's a D tier. Like that's almost an F tier. I put that at F tier, but it's not the same level of as a as a post scorer or a shot creator. Uh, pump fake maestro. It's like who who uses that? <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I use this on my big man. <laughs> but I only use it on my big man because I have one shooting badge. So it's like, what am I gonna put a shooting badge on when I have one shooting badge and I have like a 33 pointer? Like there's no other badge I can put on. So I'm like, all right, you know, pump fake maestro. I do pump fake a lot, so I put it on. Um, I don't think it does anything like I, I don't I really don't think pump fake my show does anything I put it on I don't see a point uh, It's pretty pretty pointless badge. There's so many better badges out there than a pump fake maestro a badge to help you pump it Like yeah, there's so many better badges out there. All right quick draw. We, we all know where quick draw is going, bro We we you guys know where quick draw is going, right? Quick draw 100% the best badge in the game 100% the best badge in the game. There's no debate about it. Let's put that above Green Machine. There is no point about it. There's, there's no there's no debate about it. Green Machine or a quick draw is the best badge in the game. So um, I know a lot of people are going to debate like, oh, bro, Range Extender, Green Machine, all these other badges, Hot Hot Zone Hunter, they're better than Quick Draw. Think about it, bro. Quick Draw, you literally cannot be a shooter without Quick Draw. You literally can't be. All these other badges, some people don't use them. Like Green Machine, some people don't use Green Machine. Some people don't use Hot Zone Hunter. Some people don't use range extender, right? So you can use some of these badges, don't use some of them, but quick draw, you have to use. Like that's the only badge that you have to use out of all the badges in the game. And um, for that reason, I think it's the best shooting badge in the game. That's the only badge that you have to have. And if you don't have it, you're gonna be at a hinder. So um, yeah, that, that's 100% S tier. I don't think anyone's gonna debate me about that one. Range extender. Um, range extender, same thing, bro. I think it's the same thing. I think it's an S tier badge. Rain Extender is a must have badge in my opinion. It's it's one of the best badges in the game. Um, it, it, it's one of the best badges. I, I think I think Green Machine and Rain Extender go hand in hand. They're about the same category as badges. They're solid ass badges. Um, some of the best in the game. Rain Extender is kind of like Quick Draw where you kind of need Rain Extender to be able to shoot good. So, um, yeah, I think it's a little bit above Green Machine, but Green Machine's a glitchy badge as well. Like, Green Machine's a glitchy badge. Green Machine's like a badge that you don't need, but if you have, you're a glitch with it. That's that's why I love Green Machine so much. It's not really a must-have badge, which makes it not as important as, like, Ranger Standard or Green Machine or a Quick Draw. But um, Green Machine, it, it's a glitchy badge once you get that shit going. All right, we're on the last home stretch. we only got four badges left. Uh, what is this? Is this Slippery Off-Ball? Yeah, it sure is. Slippery Off-Ball, that, I mean, that's a horrible badge. I mean, like, who uses that? But that's almost an F tier. I'm going to be honest, that might be an F tier badge. Slippery Off-Ball. I don't think I've seen anyone use it, but I don't think it's the same category as a post score or a shot creator. 
Slippery off ball. <laughs> where do we put? Where, do, where would you guys put a slippery off ball, bro? Slippery off ball. Mm. I'm a. I'm gonna get a D tier. Cause I'm sure there's someone out there that uses it. I don't think it's as. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think that it's gonna be F tier. Yeah, I think it's a solid at a D tier. I mean, I'm sure some people use it. I've never seen anyone use it, but who knows? There's probably some guy out there that does. Steady shooter. Oh God. Oh God. We have a badge in the Ronnie tier. Oh my God. I did not think we'd have a badge in the Ronnie. <laughs> I did not think we we're gonna have a badge in the Ronnie tier. I forgot about steady shooter, bro. Oh my God, steady shooter, the worst, the worst badge in the goddamn game. Steady shooter. I still see people to this day using steady shooter. I'm like, bro, what are you thinking? Like, steady shooter is hands down the worst badge in the game. Steady shooter, it helps you shoot contested. Like, if you shoot contested every play, and when I say contested, I mean contested like 30% or more. Um, I mean it's a, it, it helps you, it definitely does. But if you shoot open. Oh, say goodbye. You're breaking everything if it's open. Say goodbye. You cannot shoot open shots. Like, you have to shoot contested for that badge to work. Like, every single shot you take has to be like 20% or, or above contested, or else there's no point of having the badge on. And if you're shooting like that, bro, that, that's just that's no way to live your life. You might as well just go play Minecraft. All right, Tyler's Shooter. Um, I don't use it. I don't see any point to have it. I'll give that a C or a D. I might even give that a D tier, to be honest. Cause I see people talking about how they like steady Tyler's shooter, right? But I, I, I blink red on a shooter. Like I play on my boy J3's account, right? And I blink red and I green fine, right? So I don't know. Maybe I don't know much about the badge, but I shoot fine when I'm blinking red on a shooter. Now, if you're not a shooter, if you're like a, if you're like a 50 or 60 three pointer, then I can see maybe, yeah, you do need Tyler's score, but, or Tyler's shooter. I don't know why they call it Tyler's shooter. I'm calling that shit Tyler's score. Um, but other than that, bro, like, I shoot, I was playing J3 on his account last night, and all night I was shooting blinking reds all the time, and they're, the only time I'd ever miss is just because I don't know his jump shot. Other than that, it was a green. So, for that reason, I don't think Tyler's score is, uh, that sort of a badge. I know a lot of people like the badge, I don't, I don't see a point. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad badge, I'm just saying that there's better badges out there, you feel me? Like, I'd much rather have, like, a clutch shooter, or a, or a hot start, or a, fucking hot zone you know what i mean there's just so many badges out there that are way better all right volume shooter um i i don't like this badge at all i know a lot of people love this badge i'm gonna give it a c tier all right i already i already just know i don't i don't like this badge at all um i know a lot of people love the badge a lot of people hate the badge i'm one of those guys that don't really care for the badge um i think it's a c tier badge like like i said a lot of people love the badge and a lot of people don't really like the badge so if I were you guys, I would try the badge out at least and see how you guys like it. So, um, like I said, all the C tier badges are badges I would try out for yourself and see how you like it. Um, volume shooter, I just don't like. It, it makes me shoot worse. Like, you have to shoot like 10 badges. Or, uh, you have to 10 badges. You have to shoot like, I think it is like, let me, let me look at the description. I think you have to shoot like five bat or five shots for it to work or something like that. A player has, has taken a small handful of shots and additional boost to their shot attributes is given every subsequent. Uh, <clears throat> so so it says that every shot you take if you make it or miss it it helps you shoot your next shot so it gives you a little bonus to your next shot you take but i don't notice that like i feel like the first five shots i take i just brick with volume shooter i don't know why so i know a lot of people like the badge i don't really care for it it seems like it messes me up but i think it's a badge that you guys should try out if you're looking for solid badges man all right so like i said any in my opinion any badge in the c or above uh, range is uh, those are badges I would try out. Okay, the S tier 100% you have to have those badges. You have to have these badges. All right, depending on your badge setup, you guys need these badges. Um, you guys need quick draw 100%, rank extender the highest you can get it, and then green machine the highest you can get it. Okay, and then other than that, all these other badges are pretty solid. Uh, these are kind of like sharpshooter badges right here. So, I want to if you're a if you're like a playmaker. Um, I wouldn't worry about these badges. These are more like sharpshooter badges. So, um, yeah, these badges, don't worry about these if you're like a, a play sharp or something or a play shot, whatever, offensive threat. Um, these badges, I would look into. Hot Zone Hunter is a solid badge. Dead Eye is a pretty solid badge. Um, 
yeah because like i think dead eye activates even if it's like two percent covered so it's definitely a solid badge clutch shooter is a pretty cool badge hot starts a pretty cool badge volume shooter i'll try out just for the heck of it and yeah i mean that those are the badges i'll try out for you guys man definitely these top three badges you guys will shoot insane with it and um yeah let me know if you guys can see some more tier list videos, man. I, I can definitely do like some shoot finishing, some some playmaking, some defending tier list badges. Or we can just do all the badges in the game, do a tier list, get like some people in the video with me, and we can just talk about it. But um yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like, sub up if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.